those of you who follow Digital Trends TV reviews hear us talking about OLED all the time. OLED TV this, OLED TV that. But the thing is, OLED can be used for more than just watching television in your home. The display behind me is a great example of that. This is a commercial application of an OLED panel. These are 77 inch OLED panels that have been curved to create this amazing commercial display. This is gonna change what it's like when you go out to shop. You're gonna see these things all over the place. But how do they do that? Why is OLED that much different than the standard LCD TV that you're used to seeing around? Well, let me show you. This is the best visualization of an LCD display versus an OLED display that I've seen yet. You can see that with an LCD display, there are tons of individual parts. First, you have the cover or the bottom, which has the LEDs in it themselves. Then you have to point that through a reflector plate. It then goes through a diffuser plate to spread out all that light. In most of today's uh, displays, you also have a quantum dot sheet that actually changes the nature of the color of the light so it's more perfect for the color filter. You've got a prism sheet here, which could also be a polarization sheet, another diffuser, then there is a guide panel, and finally you get to the LCD panel. Now, you can sandwich these things together and make it relatively thin, but by contrast, check out just how thin an OLED panel is. If you've got nothing else, it's that thin. It's almost as thin as a piece of paper. Not only that, but it's a little bit flexible. You can bend it without destroying the display. And it's also rigid, which allows TV makers to do some pretty spectacular stuff. Because the OLED display is both flexible and rigid, you can do a lot of fun things with it. Case in point, you can actually turn the display into a sound making device. So instead of putting speakers inside a display, which makes it very bulky, you can use the display itself to emit sound. What they've done here is placed actuators on the panel itself and turned the display into a speaker. You can use multiple actuators to get stereo sound. And as you can see in this demonstration, it's quite effective. What you see visualized by these beads bouncing up and down are sound waves moving the beads up and down. It has a very full sound to it. It's certainly more direct to your ears than uh, say speakers that are firing towards the ground. So you have more clarity and it's still a full bodied sound with a lot of clear dialogue coming at you. This, I think, is the coup de grace of OLED, transparent OLED. This is something that uh, we started to see in some refrigerators, uh, ovens, but here in a traditional TV type display, you can imagine all kinds of retail possibilities where the product you're talking about in the display is actually sitting behind the display. So there's this weird dimensionality going on here. Plus, I think it's just really, really cool that you can get an actually convincing looking display going on on a completely transparent panel. I love this stuff because we come to CES to catch a glimpse of the future and that's exactly what we're seeing here and it's becoming increasingly clear that the future of display isn't just in your living room, it's just about everywhere you go.